Hey guys, how's it going? One of the staples of Japanese street cuisine is the takoyaki. Takoyaki is batter baked on a nice piece of octopus. And it's fitting that I have octopus with the game known as Octopus Traveler. Oh wait, excuse me, Octopath Traveler. Well, that's a kind of a weird name for a game. Anyway, let's eat some takoyaki. Trust me, this, uh, this tasted better than it looks. And play some Octopath Traveler. Last year, I reviewed a game titled I Am Setsuna, a game I thought was okay. And after playing a bit of Octopath Traveler, I now realize that I Am Setsuna was just a beta for the real deal known as Octopath Traveler. A game that will be kind of intimidating to some. 16-bit sprites, 8 unique characters with 8 unique story modes, 80 hours of gameplay, fully voiced cutscenes, yeah, I didn't see that one coming for a game like this. Full English or Japanese voices coming from 16-bit sprites. It's kind of bizarre. Thankfully, Square ponied up for some decent voice acting. And so to business. Who will be the next to die? If there's one thing you take from Octopath Traveler, it's the use of color to set a mood. Every area in the game has a very strong color palette to help set the tone of the game. From the dried monotone cliffs of cobblestone to the sun-coated coast of, well, coastland, Octopath does a great job of getting players into the mood for each of the character's stories. Remember kids, art over technical prowess any day of the week. The selling point of Octopath Traveler is that there are 8 characters with 8 different stories to take on. And that's a lot to ask for for most players. The more you play, the more your party expands, and the more players will have to balance out their party. My starting character was Ulberic, as I wanted to tank at all times. I expanded to the west to get the lovely Prime Rose, then I headed back east to enlist Tressa and Cyrus into the squad. Each of the eight characters has a set role in mind. Ulberic and Hanit are the offense, Tressa and Theron are thieves, Ophela and Alfin are your healers, and Prime Rose and Cyrus can get their asses kicked. Each character has a role and they can change jobs, allowing for players to make their own custom party. Each character also has a unique skill. Like for example, Orberic's skill allows him to challenge people to fights. Yeah, you can challenge almost anyone to a fight, including old women. Man, what a, what a hero, right? Going around being the crap out of old women and old men and children. Jerk. I love the art style, I like how big the bosses become when you're supposed to be fighting just a normal sized dude. And much like the art style, the battle system takes a lot of influence from the 16-bit era of RPGs. Classic turn-based battles are here, and they are really fast and are fun to play. When the travelers find exploits at enemies, it's possible to keep them stunned, allowing for either huge damage or to take a break from the action to start healing and start buffing for the road ahead. The break system is simple on the surface, but does have a lot of depth once you get into it. Octopath isn't terribly difficult. This isn't Persona 4 where you get to Shadow Kanji and the only course of action is to break the PS2. But make no mistake, Octopath Traveler puts up one hell of a fight. Cyrus's first boss in particular slapped my ass and called me Sally the first time I took him on. And the second time. Pro tip, get someone who can heal all alleys at once. That will really help you out. I do have a few minor problems with Octopath so far, and the overworld, I think there are just a bit too many random battles for my taste. It's good for grinding, but it gets repetitive after a while. There are no markers on where to go for side quests on the map. The travelers are supposed to think of a solution on their own, but hey, I'm spoiled by other JRPGs, I ain't got all day. And I can't say for sure, but I'm not sure what the payout will be for completing all 8 paths in Octopath Traveler. Do the 8 travelers combine to form Voltron and beat the hell out of Mikashiva? Is there a giant orgy? Who knows, the game is long as hell and I'm going to need a lot more time into the game before I can see what Octopath is building up to. It better be more takoyaki, I'll tell you what. Now there's my quick first impressions of Octopath Traveler. I do like the game so far. I played the demo a lot and I had to start a new file with the Japanese version. But it's been a pretty fun ride so far. I'm not sure what the payout will be, 
But I am looking forward to playing more and more and more of Octopath Traveler. And I'm looking forward to sweating a lot more. It's really goddamn hot in this room. So anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm going to be going back home for the first time in two years. The first time in two years. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. But don't worry, there's still plenty of content coming out for me for these next two weeks until I get back where I can finish up my review of Octopath Traveler. So in the meantime, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe, hit that bell, check out some more videos, and uh, enjoy yourselves, all right? All right, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my meal. Anyway, guys, I'll see you next week for a new episode of The Z-Man Show. Later, everybody.